This is Hello Glass with another glassblower interview. What is your name and are you a glassblower? Yes, uh, my name is Shag Snyder and uh, I am a glassblower. How long have you been blowing glass and do you consider yourself a master? Oh, definitely not a master. I've been blowing glass for about 14 years. Your favorite style or type of glass to create with? I, def I don't have a favorite. Luckily, we have so many different styles and so many uh, amazing artists right now. I don't think I have a, a favorite. Um, but I still love goblets and I still love right now what people are doing in the, the heady market as far as uh, extreme, um, extreme ways they're pushing the industry. What state do you call home for your glass shop? Eugene, Oregon. Do you own or work under a glass brand or an art name? Uh, I work under my own name, which is uh, Zep Glass, Z-E-P-G-L-A-S-S. -S. Do you make your living solely off glass wine? 100% off glass. If you could blow glass uh, with anyone living, who would that be? Wow, I love Cesare. Um, is one of my absolute favorites. Um, and I feel fortunate that I know some of my favorites here. Um, uh, Banjo, Buck. Um, you know, there's so many great artists right here, so I feel fortunate that, that they live pretty, pretty local. What style or technique of glass is hardest for you? Whatever I'm working on currently. Name two people that taught or influenced your glass skills. I'm 100% self-taught, so I would say Sky Glass was the first person, uh, Sky Cooper was the first person I watched, but um, I'm 100% self-taught. Is there any style or technique of glass that you would or will learn in the future? Um, boy, hopefully, hopefully I'm just open to whatever comes next and that I can keep it better at whatever it is I, I try to do. Name two glass artists that impress you. Mm -hmm. Banjo, 100%. Uh, still love Buck stuff. Um, Yusheen, man, I love Yusheen stuff. I love Mike Gong's marbles. Um, Kabuki's marbles. Cesare, sorry, that was that was more too. It's all good. Dude, it's, it's all. <laughs> and you, you got me started, yeah. What's what style or technique of glass amazed you when you first saw it? Well, what's funny, starting way back, it was the mushroom marble. I'm sure I don't know how common that that's the, the answer, but the mushroom marble was uh, the, the, that was it. Worst injury you ever got making glass art. Uh, I shoved a piece of two mil and skewered my ring finger trying to make a mushroom marble. <laughs> what do you wish to accomplish in the glass industry? Um, I don't really want to do anything necessarily in the industry itself. I just want to try to get better at, at what I like. I don't, I don't need to make a specific name for myself in the industry though. How does a glass fan get a hold of your work? Uh, my glass is sold through uh, Cornerstone and uh, some of the local shops here in Eugene, Midtown. Um, and that's, that's Do you have a cool. Facebook or anything else? No Facebook, nothing like that. You've got three minutes to tell the world whatever you want, go for it. Right on. Uh, I'd like to say uh, if you're a glass worker, you know, recognize how good we have it. Uh, most of us have done some sort of hard labor, well, I did a lot of hard labor jobs. Um, and just try to recognize how good we have it here. And if you can find any way to give back, give back. Do something, all of us can do something, especially the opportunity that us as glass workers have. If we try to unite and use the, um, our abilities and our skills to help others, we can do a lot, whether it's just in our local community or not. Um, so my hope is that you know, all of us as glass artists and glass workers, that we can continue to you know, recognize the benefits that we have and try to share with others as much as we can. And, um, you know, again, whether that's locally on a, or on a global scale, and that's pretty much it. This was Hello Glass with another Real Glass Artist interview. Thank you so much right for on, your time. You.